I'm Kayla Dobbins. I'm Manana Tigger. We're here with your Channel 3 News with a story about the new stadium renovations. Much like the excitement for when the new high school building was built, the excitement for the new stadium renovations is much the same in nature. During the renovations, all of the existing buildings will be torn down. New buildings will be built along the left and right sides of the stadium. This will include new bathrooms, locker rooms for both the home team and the visiting team, concession stands for both the band boosters and athletic boosters, storage areas for the band, and new ticket booths. Well, it, it just kind of helps to, to showcase our school and, and, and make it a, a better place. I mean, our, our restrooms and, and locker rooms um, were so obsolete down there, uh, it was time to... Time to update them. Another change in scenery here at the stadium is the removal of the trees, which line the stadium fence. Since new buildings are being put in, this fence will need to be removed back to accommodate these changes. Therefore, the entire fence will be removed and we will get a new fence. Renovations began on April 1st and will not be complete until mid-August. This means that the renovations will be affecting upcoming events like track meets, powder puff, and graduation. Many seniors are concerned about how the renovations will affect the look of graduation. It kind of sucks that they're not waiting until after graduation to do that because there's going to be a, like limited parking and seating and stuff like that and it's going to look terrible. Due to the construction vehicles and trailers, there will be less parking available for some of these events and the entrance to the stadium will be blocked off on normal days when there are no events. Track and field members will be able to witness these changes firsthand as they practice in the stadium every day. However, the stadium will look somewhat disorganized for the home track meets this season. For track, it's going to look really crappy when a team shows up and we have like buildings being torn down. There has been concern that the new renovations are for the football team, since the timeline of the renovation benefit them the most. However, these renovations will benefit the entire community. Of course, both our football team and the away football team will be benefited, but so will the marching band, boys soccer team, and all community members who come to watch graduation and the other events throughout the year. Football coach Corey Hoffman has big plans for the Bulldogs' upcoming season, and the new renovations will surely benefit the football team. Well, it, it's always nice um, you, you play your best when you look your best. The future of the stadium looks optimistic and may help to bring more students and community members to athletic events. I think it'll give all of us a new sense of like togetherness. We get this new stadium, now we have something to treasure for like years to come. This has been Kayla and Madonna reporting for your Channel 3 News.